Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming, and so if you may on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon, today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Remember the Flowers. So before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is out for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel and get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Alright. <clears throat> I look toward Aaron. Even for a white tiger, he looks as pale as a ghost. I shake my head and give him a smile. I, uh, sorry. Sorry for worrying you. I'm fine, really. I gesture him closer to look at everything with me. Look, this is Damien. He had just won the last game of the season and got us together and got us together for a group photo. You might not recognize me, but I'm on his right. It's been a while since my hair was that short. And that's Diana. She was my best friend growing up. You look very happy, Cyrus. He says that with a bittersweet tone. I was, and am. I'm sorry. I'm getting a little emotional. Aw, oh, Cyrus. Aaron carefully reaches his arm around me to pull me close for a side hug. Picture in hand, I reciprocate. I never thought I'd see them again. I resigned myself to that. So I'm just really, really happy right now. You can cry if you want. I won't judge. I really want to, but I won't. I'm going to try to be strong. For Damien. I say that, but I'm definitely not fooling anyone. I open the small box that Diana left for me. <sighs> True to her word, there's a small bag of lotus seeds inside. Not sure if these would last that long in there, but they are seeds for my favorite flower. They kind of look like nuts. I can see that. They're pretty big compared to other seeds, that's for sure. Maybe Vita can help you Can help you uh, plant them back home. I'd like that. It leaves one final package. It's bigger than the other two and has some weight to it. I can only imagine who this is from. I bite my lip as I slowly pull the letters out. Of course they're from Mom and Dad. Hey there, champ. Uh, I don't know who this is from. Is this from his mother or his father? Uh, how are you doing? Are they keeping you well fed in there? They better be. We're going to have a problem. Diana came, Diana came to both your mother and... Oh! Diana came to both your mother and me about getting ourselves a time capsule for you. She said she wanted to pitch in as much as she could, but given how pricey it was, she asked for our help. Now, I still don't understand what you got, in, got, you got into with your new job. You're an adult now and get to make your own decisions, but judging by how Diana was acting when we brought that thing, when we bought the thing, I can only imagine what's in store for you. If she you thinks you're going to be around long enough to open this here capsule, I can only assume, only assume what you're going to go through. You remember when you had the flu when you were six? We kept you home for a long time. Mom was busy working, so I stayed home to take care of you. She suggested I try to play some games with you, uh, to distract you. I was a bit skeptical at first. He had never shown an interest in them before. Even now, I don't remember the last time we played together after that. But there was something about that week that left you totally enthralled with what we played. I even got you the newest installment for your birthday that year. Well, you didn't play it often. You would tell me about it when you did. I appreciate you humoring your old man the way you did, even when you were little. I want you to know how proud both of your, both your mother and I are of you, Cyrus. You've grown up to be a kind and thoughtful man. Don't let them break you, Cyrus. You're better than them. Love, Dad. I'm doing my best not to crumple the paper in my hand. I shakily place it on the table. Aaron still has his arm wrapped around my shoulder, and out of instinct I reach up to hold his hand for a moment. We don't say anything, but he holds my hand tight until I'm ready to keep going. I stroke his paw a few times for comfort. He's as warm as ever. I let out a sniffle as I grab the fourth and final envelope from Mom. Cyrus, I hope this letter finds you well, sweetie. I can't tell you how much we miss you back home. The cats haven't been the same since you left. I think they know somehow. They won't see you for a long time. Don't worry, we'll make sure to take good care of them. You know I'm not one to beat around the bush, and I'm not going to start now. We've already accepted that we're, we're never going to see each other again, even though your dad doesn't want to admit it. A part of me wishes I had stopped you from taking that job at Current, but the more I thought about it, the more, the more I'm glad I didn't. They're going to take care of you for as long as they can. It's in their best interest, after all. Which means, they're going, which means you're going to live on, even when we won't. That's all I can ask for as a parent. I'm still reeling over the circumstances at hand. Diana let something slip when it was just the two of us. Even though I don't entirely understand what's going to happen with you, I know you're going to come out better than before. We both know how hard school was for you, through no fault of your own, though. I could, I, could, I could tell you always tried your best, and when you failed, it really hit your confidence. Even so, you kept on going, and now look at you. You're a doctor now. I'll always be proud of you, Cyrus. I hope you know that. Second now. Water, uh, coffee time. Or nothing. Nothing to drink. 
I'll always be proud of you, Cyrus. I hope you know that. You're going to inspire change, like the knights you were named after. You're going to shine brighter than anyone, through thick and thin. Stay strong and shine on, Cyrus. Love, Mom. I'm shaking so hard that I'm struggling not to accidentally crumple the letter up. Aaron starts to rub my back. I can't hold it back anymore. I don't want to. Because I'm not breaking my promise to Damien. I'm not crying because I'm sad. I'm happy. So, so happy they had an opportunity to hear from them again. Since I don't have any tissues, I have no choice but to snort loudly to hold it back. A Aaron, thank you so much for bringing me here. Aaron doesn't reply. He just keeps rubbing my back as I try to wipe the tears from my face. Oh man, it's been a long time since, I ha since I've had, had a cry this ugly. A really, really long time. I haven't opened the packages they left me. I know it's only going to make me turn into a blubbering mess. Aaron, sorry, if, if you don't mind, could you open the last one for me? I'm a little, you know... Of course, Cyrus. I'd be happy to. I keep wiping my eyes, hiccuping in between sniffles, too. Aaron carefully uses a claw to tear the wrapping paper on the box. Opening it reveals something I haven't seen in a long time. It's a book and uh, some kind of tech. Here, let me show you. Aaron passes me the box. There are two portable consoles inside. I grab one of the old gaming systems. This is old even for me. It was something my dad had when he was my age. I try to turn it on, but there aren't any batteries inside. Looking inside the box, there is indeed a fresh pack, although it's clear they didn't survive the hibernation. It looks like all the batteries have exploded on their packaging. Oh, that's a shame. It would have been nice to play it again. It was a game Dad and I played when I was younger, but I sort of fell out of it as I got older. I'm sure Ring could take a look at it. You know how good he is with technology. That'd be nice. Uh, thankfully, he didn't put them in the systems. That could have been disastrous. I take the cartridge out of the system and look it over. The sticker is faded, but I can still recognize the logo. The other system seems to be in, a better, seems to be in better shape. It's a rechargeable battery, so I'm assuming it only needed a, it's only needed a little tune-up. The game Dad named after me is the only one that's still sealed. He must have forgotten me a new copy. He didn't need to do that, and how expensive these games were. There are a few extra cartridges inside the box, right next to the book Mom left me. Oh, wow, I bet this was her copy. What is it? I pick it up and feel the familiar worn spine. It's a modern anthology for the Legends of King Arthur. Well, I say modern loosely, but you get the idea. It's a rather hefty book, but it would take it would take me at least a month to read through everything. When I was little, Mom would read me bits and pieces before bed. She was a history junkie, sp specifically for fiction. You were named after one of the characters here too, right? Yeah, I don't remember much about him though. Sir Galahad? Huh. Gonna do some research on him? I think so. Yeah, I'd like to think. Uh, I'd like to think. I'd like to find out more about him at least. Although these old texts are a bit harder to read. English was dumb. Still kind of is. Absolutely. I grab my sleeve to use it to wipe my face one last time. The waterworks have stopped, but I'm still feeling pretty emotional. I, whew, sorry, that came out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting to find something like this. I glide my hand over the quality time capsule. Aaron covers my hand with his own. I know I'm not one to talk, but you don't have to keep apologizing for feeling these things. I'm just glad that you're happy. I am, thank you. I really can't thank you enough for bringing me all the way out here. Your happiness is very much worth it to me, Cyrus. After I calm down, we make our way back inside the inside my house. Aaron tries using the space left in the kitchen to make dinner. Sitting at the kitchen table after all these years brings out a lot of buried memories. I try to tell Aaron about everything I can think of while we eat. Shortly after dinner, because I am so emotionally spent, Aaron suggests we hit the hay for the night. I had a strange request, though. I wanted to try and sleep in my old room one last time. The bed obviously isn't comfortable enough anymore, so we just sleep on the floor together in our sleeping bags. It's like, you know. I try to stay up as long as I can, going over more and more happy memories, but eventually I can't take it anymore, and I start to drift off to sleep next to Aaron. You're thinking about doing what? Hey, hey, easy, easy. You don't have to throw dirt at me. I did not tutor you for all those years just for you to end up a dumbass, Cyrus. Why on earth would you want to break up with Damien? You look so happy together. She says as she angrily throws some seeds my way. 
Some end up in my mouth, causing me to try and spit them out. Let me try to explain myself. It better be good, otherwise you're going to experience how good I am with a, with a trial firsthand. I gulp. It's not that I don't want to be with him, Diana. In fact, it's quite the opposite. I think back to my orange cuddle bug. He's made me the happiest I've ever been. Then why, Cyrus? Why do you want to... Because I don't think I'm good enough for him. There's a permeating silence, only broken by the sound of Diana digging through her tools. D Diana? Honestly, Cyrus, I know you're smarter than this. Why do you think you're not good enough for him? I mean, just look at me. I don't have anything going on. I'm a struggling med student while he's the star of the basketball team. I'm a mediocre musician with barely any hobbies, not to mention my being asexual only limits what we can do together. I don't think you realize how insulting you're being towards Damien. Huh? Cyrus, why on earth do you think Damien is so shallow as to care about any of that? Actually, you know what? He does care. Because he cares about you, Cyrus, more than you could ever imagine. You're just self-sabotaging, and that's why you're the biggest dumbass in the room right now. But it's true. Of course it is. What of it? You think you can just conveniently leave out all the good things about yourself to fit this narrative? You're hardworking, you're considerate to a fault, and you try to take and you try to make everyone feel better when they're down. Okay, Diana, you made your point. You fight for what you believe in, you make sure to call out injustice as you put yourself in harm's way for others. Seriously, Diana, I think I get it. I'm going to keep going because I don't think you do. I'm no therapist by any means, but I, I know that just how hard you work to try and be useful to other people. And my underqualified ass is here to tell you that you're one of the better people out there, even if you yourself don't think so. I don't really know what to say. I know she's stubborn. Maybe I am, too. Even so, I don't think I can just accept her words. I guess Diana can see me struggling, because she sighs loudly. Do you want me to use a metaphor, Cyrus? You don't need to treat me like a child. I'm not. I'm treating you like a human being. A human being with empathy. Come here. Right now. I grumble as I make my way over. Cyrus, how hard do you think it is to take care of plants? Huh? I mean, it's not easy, but it's not hard. You're, you're, really, you're really something else. I've never seen someone take care of this many types of plants to that issue. You're just saying that. I'm really not. Even at the flower shop, I see veterans make simple mistakes with plants. You want to know my theory as to why? Hit me. Because you care, Cyrus. I've seen you stay up late on social media looking for advice on plant care. I mean, for fuck's sake, did you know how hard it is to make an indoor lotus garden? I didn't even know it was possible. So, you know. I just like them is all. I, I wanted to make sure they're okay. Diana starts furiously pointing at me with both hands. See? You do care! Is that such a bad thing? Oh, for the love of- Cyrus, you're allowed to be happy. You know that, right? And I don't mean just for a moment or two. You're allowed to- you're allowed to be with someone you care about. Believe me, if Damien turned out to be a piece of shit, I would have dropped his ass by now. Diana sighs again. I wasn't going to tell you this, but I think you need to hear it. Just don't tell Damien. I'm sure he'll understand. He's just a little nervous. Tell me what? You really saved him, Cyrus. Well, just the two of us, you come up all the time. Oftentimes, I just sit back and let him gush about you. Really? Yes, really. He's head over heels for you. You treat him like a person, not the captain of the basketball team, not the breadwinner at home. You treat him like Damien Grayson. I don't think you I don't think you realize how much that means to him. We both know how shitty his family life is, and you make sure to treat him with the love and respect he, uh, he needs and deserves. Do, do you really think I'm that, I'm that, good, that I'm that good enough for him, though? Obviously, I want to say, what the fuck are you talking about, duh? But that isn't for me to answer. If you really want to find out, you should ask him yourself. But I'll bet you a thousand bucks he'll say yes, without a doubt. I just... I just don't know. Do you want to give up? No. Then why are you trying to convince yourself about this, uh, about all this made-up bullshit? I don't know. Why? I don't fucking know. Don't ask me. That's something you need to find out yourself. We're all fighting for our own happiness, Cyrus. Sometimes it's easier said than done. Tell you what. Here, open your hand. Uh, okay. I do as I'm told. Brian, pro Diana produces a key from her back pocket and then places it in my hand. Been meaning to get you a copy for a while. Now as good of a time as any, I'd say. Cyrus, if you're ever feeling doubtful about yourself, I want you to come to the greenhouse. Even if it's in the middle of the night, or if you want to skip school, come. Look at all the hard work you've put in here. This greenhouse is concrete proof of how hardworking and dedicated you are, along with showing just how thoughtful and caring you can be. And for once, you can't talk back to me. I'm just calling it like I see it. Diana, I... Diana interrupts me by holding my hand with both of hers. So please, please try to let yourself be happy.
All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.